Let's discuss. Hey everyone, it's Rachel back again with another video and today I'm going to be checking out new music from Sentinels, which is very exciting. Their EP In Limbo is out now. There are two new tracks off of it since they released Glitch already. I have that on the channel. I'll be checking out Nomadic and the title track. I am very excited. Glitch is fantastic. Kenny from Dead Vectors has joined the band, which is very exciting. I love what they did with Glitch, but I'm really curious to see if they utilize more of Kenny's range in either of these two tracks, which I have a feeling that they will. Uh, we will see. I will link all of the band's social media, any links for merch, promotional links, all of that will be in the description of this video. Other than that, I'm going to stop talking and we are going to get straight into it. Oh. 
Ah, oh, I'm so happy that so far, Glitch and this track have had like that. You know, they they have a. We'll talk at the end in depth, but the atmospheric stuff coming through. like a middle of the road track i wish i looked at the wrong times first okay that's fine it goes it probably flows really nicely into glitch <laughs> oh hell i should have looked at the the run times of the tracks okay i thought it was two full new songs but i think this one serves more of like a connection between the two tracks type of deal <laughs> but anyway sentinels in limbo Let's discuss. It feels like with Nomadic, they're kind of stepping more into that territory of what I somewhat expected going into Glitch because I am familiar with Kenny's range, which is insane. But when you look at the material that Sentinels has most recently done, aside from this EP talking about Collapse by Design, there is not much of a variation when it comes to the vocals. It's a lot of mid-range, and it worked for me, honestly. I talked about that when I did my full album video. Uh, as the, the singles were dropping, I talked a little bit about not necessarily needing something super different because I think with how much they carry in their instrumentals, having a vocalist who was solid in that mid-range, and it's not to say they never took a second to go outside of that, but overall and then you know stepping into a new chapter of the band with a vocalist like kenny i think the transition this i guess this as the transition is an excellent uh, you know debut of that because while glitch does feel a little bit more <clears throat> vocally in line with what they've had in the past i think that in nomadic you get a little taste of some of the highs and lows that kenny can do and such but alongside that the instrumentation is just unreal. Uh, there is a lot of that song that I could sit here and talk about, so I'll probably uh, unintentionally miss some details that really stuck out for me. The middle of the song being super atmospheric and, and bringing in the that mixture of really clean sounds. Some of the guitars towards the second half of the song, the leads were really just clean and kind of contrasting the more complex and uh, a ma like when it comes to the weird timing mathy-ish riffs that sort of stuff is still very present in their sound with this track so I'm not at all disappointed the section that led up to 
all of those blast beats. Insane. The, the snare sounds incredible, but I think it's more of the delivery there from Dave. It just, as somebody who's not a good drummer and has been attempting to learn over the last year, this is a band that I'm always interested, like when I'm, you know, using what I've learned about counting and stuff, it's, it's just a band that very much appeals to me from not just how it sounds, but what is behind that and some of the especially with Dave as a drummer he is one of my favorites especially watching the videos that he's done and such uh, it, it just isn't something that is really matched for me with this sound it's uh, Sentinels is very specific in their sound and even with their vocalist changes that they have gone through in their discography that has always been something that was very present. I talked in my Glitch video about how I saw them play last year and they did an instrumental set and it was incredible. There are not a ton of bands that I can think of that would do an instrumental set like that and I would feel as hyped afterwards as I did with that show. They they stole the show 100% and they were, they were doing it instrumentally, you know? Uh, so I think that speaks volumes to what this band is capable of. If you have, I, I'm not, I'm sure there are probably some live videos somewhere from their instrumental sets, but I, I think for my first time seeing them, it honestly worked for me. But now I want, I would like to see them with Kenny. I'd like to see how Kenny does performing some of the claps by design tracks, other than what I've seen from people who went to the tour in uh, the EU last year. I saw some of that and it sounded good, but I think it's different actually experiencing it. Anyway, uh, getting back to this, I already talked about some of the wacky timing, uh, some of the riffs that are, they're just incredible and production on this really plays to the advantage because everything is so clear when I'm talking about the, you know, the weird sounding brain scratching riffs that are in here, they just cut across without taking away from anything. Uh, that is another big plus for me with this band. It seems like for a band that has so much detail in some of the instrumentation and such, but also things like those really bright atmospheric parts, Glitch has that as well, which I was very happy about. Um, and in Collapse by Design, it was something that was incredibly present also. And really, as I got into the band, the first track I ever heard from them was Inertia. But then as I got on board leading up to the release of Collapse by Design, that was one of the things that stuck out to me the most. Uh, Tyrant was a track that blew me away. And I think the things that made them unique and made the singles that stuck out to me the most as I got into the band stick out to me the most I think that all translates here with the, another chapter for them I can't imagine it's easy to go through these sort of changes unexpectedly uh, back to back like this but this is really elegantly done I think this EP speaks to where they're gonna, going to be heading I do think with having technically two full tracks on here and glitch being as I said more in line with the the vocal range that we got on collapse by design for their future releases, I'll be really interested to see if they utilize more the high sounded. That was like the stick out moment to me in terms of like vocal range stuff we're talking about here. There was like a, a short section of those highs in there and I would love to hear some more of that with Sentinels because I don't think it's something that I've really heard too much of with that combination and it just works really well for me. But honestly, uh, there were a lot of moments where my attention fluctuated between vocals, instrumentals, vocals, instrumentals, and then portions where they worked together really well. And I felt more evenly, like I was more evenly distributing my attention, but everything was, was up to that level that I'm hoping for. I would love to see some more tracks from them like Nomadic, not even like, like I want Nomadic part two, but this direction for them and, and some of the, <laughs> excitement I have around the they're, they're also so along with what I mentioned about the part leading up to the blast beats the section with the blast blast beats I think it's right after that where it just has this super it's like a dancey feeling part of it and with with sentinels a lot of like the you know some of the time signatures some of the time changes and stuff sometimes it's not what I would consider to be like dancey metalcore music but it had this section that just felt incredibly different from anything that I've 
heard in their discography, a lot of their songs stick out to me in ways where I can make connections with them in, in certain parts, like, oh, this kind of is giving me a little bit of a feel of, you know, this track or whatever, but in that section, it felt just like something completely new. So I'm very happy with this. I am mad at myself for not realizing that In Limbo is more of a bridge to bring the two tracks together, which I did go back, re-listened to In Limbo into Glitch, and it it works perfectly as bridging those two together. And it's really pretty as well. Uh, the build to the second track makes me want to listen to this the way that it was released. So doing nomadic in limbo glitch in a row without skipping anything that's how i feel i'll best listen to this and while i do with the the eps that are shorter we've been getting a lot more three track eps or a, a lot of my favorite bands have done where maybe it's two tracks and an interlude to invent animate with the sun sleeps as it never was and i really enjoy that but it's it's definitely something that leaves me wanting more music especially with a band like sentinels or invent animate but this will go really nicely into my playlist and I'll probably, once I hear Nomadic, I'll just want to queue up in Limbo and then Glitch right after it, which which works well for me. I think sometimes when you get an EP that's shorter on length and there's something that sticks out as very much not connecting with the level of quality of one part, like the either, it's really like the beginning or the end of the EP when you have something shorter like that, uh, that tends to be a real complicated thing for me because doing EP lists at the end of the year and you know comparing something Mood Ring did a three track EP this year comparing something that may be shorter in length but higher in quality to me uh, it, it it hurts my brain to do sometimes but I'm fine with it because I think it makes sense with the way that things are release wise now and with how fast paced everything has been moving uh, it, it does make sense to me so, and it's going to make sense if you enjoy something also to want more of it or, you know, if it's a shorter release and half of it you don't really enjoy, which that is not the case here with, with this release for me. Though it has happened to me, luckily with the shorter EP releases we've been getting this year, I just mentioned Mood Ring, uh, Callous Dowboys are another band that did a three track EP. Uh, those have worked really well for me because I haven't had one that has disappointed me in any way so far this year in terms of enjoying part of it a lot, getting high expectations and then being let down. So I've been lucky in that sense. I'm kind of just carrying on at this point. So those are my thoughts on first listen. I think that the atmospheric bit in the mid, it's a, quite a long portion of the song that, that has that feel to it. But that is one of my favorite aspects of this song. Huge drumming performance from Dave, very big vocal performance from Kenny. Those highs are another standout moment. The section leading up to the blast beats and the blast beat section itself would probably be another noteworthy mention. Everything I've really called out, the, the flow of the track overall, the, the bridge that the title track interlude into Glitch gives is outstanding. There's really not anything I would want to see different other than more music from Sentinels and... I'm excited that I, I don't necessarily like think on this EP I'm looking for you to just change things up entirely Kenny going into dead vectors mode that's really not fitting I think for the sound Sentinels has laid down but I am excited to see in the future with upcoming releases they'll do with Kenny if the sound will shift a little bit in that sense and utilize the range more often or if it will stick to the sound that they've they've established with Collapse by Design and, and stay in that range, but I would be really interested to see a track, how it would come across, a track where Kenny just goes insano mode and utilizes a lot of highs, a lot of lows, some of the mid-range. Uh, that would be very interesting to me because I don't really know how to imagine that sound with the Sentinel, Sentinels instrumentals that I know better than I know Sentinels with Kenny. Um, so those are my thoughts after my first listen. Excited for whatever this band will do in the future. They haven't missed a beat from Collapse by Design, even though they've gone through another huge change. So props to Sentinels. And I will link all of the social media, merch, promotional links for the band, the visualizer tracks I used in the reaction portion of this. All that will be in the description of this video. You can also find my link tree there, which will have the invite for the Discord server, my Twitch channel, 
the Patreon, any link you may need related to my channel, it'll be there in the link tree. Patreon, we are working on end of the year stuff. I'm filming this on release day, Friday, the day that the CP came out. And over this weekend, so tomorrow and the next day, I'll be sorting through all of the polls that we've done for 2023 releases so far putting all of the data into a spreadsheet and then making polls that are a little bit more complicated. We're gonna start eliminating stuff and tapping further into what the list is going to be like. The outline of the list kind of, and I offer a ton more stuff on there that's all listed out. I've got some videos I've filmed that I'll be posting on there for extra content. I'm going to be doing early access because I have a boatload of content filmed already that I'll be getting ahead of schedule with, so Patreon will get that first. Everything I offer, like I said, is listed out in the tiers. If you want to check that out, that will be there. And on Twitch, right now, things have been on hold. I've mentioned this in all of my recent videos, but I had to take an unplanned two-week break. I wasn't here with my filming setup, so without that, I was unable to film videos, do live streams. Uh, it set me back quite a bit. Obviously, as a lot of y'all know, this release time has been insane. So I've been sorting that out and then I'm going to be looking next week at the stream schedule, getting the request streams weekly back up and going. But in addition to that, we'll be doing multiple streams per week uh, to close out the year. We'll be doing some music related streams. Some will be related to 2023 releases and some will be other music related streams. So if you want to be notified when I go live, see when request streams are, see what other stuff I'm doing on Twitch, feel free to follow that Twitch channel in the link tree. And then lastly, the Discord server, as I mentioned, it's where the community is based for my channel. We've got a lot of really wonderful people in there, a bunch of music lovers, music related conversation and conversation completely unrelated to music as well, like the Pets channel, uh, all sorts of stuff. We have a channel to share live show announcements, videos from live shows, stuff like that. So if you want to come check that out, Hang with the homies, that'll be there as well. As always, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it.